Let's take a look at our unit on multiplication and division within 100 beyond the foundation facts. In this unit, students learn that multiplication and division are about working with groups of items and that they are related operations. They learn that there are strategies using known facts that can be used to find the results for unknown facts. Specifically, we do a lot of work with distributive property. In the very first week, students work with models only. So they're provided with a model of six times five, six rows or six groups with five in each, one, one part in this model. They learn that if they don't know six times five, they can create a model that has two parts. Here we have six times three, then six times two. As they work through the first week, they start to get introduced to numbers. So they have a model for five times seven. Perhaps they don't know that fact. They can create a two-part model because they might know five groups of five and five groups of two. And they start to see the relationship between the model and the parentheses. Five groups of five here represents the green part of the model and five groups of two represents the blue part of the model. As they move through the week, they're expected then to start going beyond the parentheses that represent the model to putting in the partial products. In this example, the student wrote 40 plus eight. And as they move along, they're also introduced to a number line model. And at the end of this first week, they're putting in the product and they're moving to numbers only with and without context. In the second week of instruction, students take that understanding of multiplication facts and they work with the same numbers to do division. So we're working with combinations of three and six. In this example, students are trying to figure out how many groups of six are contained in 24. So they're introduced to a phrase that gives meaning to the model. They drag the groups of six into the starting value and they complete the phrase. They also work with multiple models to find out how many groups are contained in a starting amount, stacked arrays, columns that build arrays, and they work with context. So they're gonna use word problems, identify the unit that, rep that the quotient represents. Other words that represent um, groups would be rows, baskets, miles, and at the end of that second week, they're working with numbers only. In the third week of instruction, students are introduced to the five plus n strategy. So a student might have four plus nine, and they have to fill in and create a model that's two parts, but one part must be groups of five. So here, four times five plus four times four. The same process is used where they first fill in the parentheses that represent the model parts that they create, then they put in the partial product, finally the product, and at the end of that third week, they're doing numbers only, with, with, with and without word problems. In week number four, they come back to linking those new problems, which were seven, eights, and nines, the most difficult facts, to division. In this case, 21 contains three groups of seven. They move from the phrases into numbers with and without context and numbers only at the end of the third week. This unit also has tool investigations. In this particular tool investigation, students are solving a word problem by building a model and completing the equation. As they work through the three tiers, they're asked to then create their own word problem and model it and fill in the equation. The real world investigation with this unit has to do with Cornerstone School Cafeteria. They're redoing the cafeteria and students have to determine which size table best fits the amount of students, tables that seat groups of four or groups of eight. As they move through the second tier, they're allowed more flexibility. And in the last tier, they're designing their own school cafeteria and selecting the table sizes for the population that are in their schools.